If you are postponing to use IDS because it was not yet an official standard, then I might have bad news for you, my friend. Hooray! IDS finally was voted to become an official standard, meaning that right now it has been updated to the first official version 1.0. Let me see what excuses are you going to look for in right now. Come on, bring on, bring all the excuses that you still have. But I'm sorry, sorry to disappoint you. I don't want to hear them. Throw them out the window and just start using these amazing tools because it provides so much value just by learning a little bit how to use it. You have to do that. All right, what's happening? What I'm talking about? Building Smart International on 4th of June, they issued this communicate where they announced that the information delivery specification standard IDS version 1.0 has reached the final standard status. Now I'll just read through the communicate they issued. This approval marks a significant milestone in how OpenB workflows are defined and implemented and reflects a growing demand for more accurate and reliable data exchanges. I will not go through all of this because they might sue me for or stealing their content so I'll stop here but this is what you have to understand forget about all the excuses and if you are working with IFC start using IDS because you will see the value immediately I have heard about IDS and I started to research and look into IDS almost one year ago in August it will be one year since I actually started actively using IDS on my project and I've been using it and promoting it ever since. If you don't know already, Beamvoice is also hosting the only IDS course for beginners in the entire world, which has been created by the international expert on IDS, Menomekes. And because we finally got the official version, this course will also be updated. If you want to save a lot of time doing your own research, you have to spend only 100 euros and you'll get access to this amazing course, which will jumpstart your journey immediately. And also, by the way, next week I will host a Blender Beam workshop for beginners. And in the last chapter of this workshop, I will cover practical use of IDS. If this is also of interest, you will find the link in the description below if you want to join. Let me tell you one more important thing about this. If you are waiting for the next workshop, I will release sometime, I don't know, in August or September or something like that, you might be disappointed. If that's your plan, please don't do it and join right now because I'm sorry to break it to you, but there is a high chance that I will not host any other Blender Beam workshop for beginners throughout this whole year. So if you're thinking that you will get a second chance to join this and start learning Blender Beam just after three hours, then I'm sorry, that's not going to happen. So if you want to jumpstart also your journey regarding Blender Beam, you should join now and get ready for our Thursday, 13th of June session which will start at 3 p.m central european summer time i hope to see you there and if not then enjoy these blender beam videos i created on this channel